Hello, everyone. I'm Dave Wiggins, and I'm joined today by Mr. Mark Knox. How are you, Mark? I'm not too bad, Dave. Just looking forward to Christmas. I mean, yeah. I loved it. depends when this goes out. If this goes out after Christmas, I'm just like recovering from Christmas. Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> it's really nice. <laughs> but listen, you're in your office there. You're still at work. So, uh, Mark, we just wanted to bring you on and have a quick chat because your charity, your organization is doing the bucket collection uh, at the big Boxing Day match. And of course, we know that you support Glen Avon. Um, your organization, your office is in Porta Downtown Centre. And you, you've got some Porta Downtown supporters and some Glen Avon supporters on your staff. So you are the boss of Aspire NI, isn't that right? What should give us your proper title? Um, I don't know what my proper title is. Uh, one time I inputted online that I was the CEO slash founder slash boss, not thinking that any of the staff would see it. And they did. And I definitely felt like David Brent. Okay. Yeah, oh, but none of us mind about a bit of David Brand, to be honest. So that's all good. Um, but you you look after an organisation, a charity called Aspire NI, and you guys are doing the bucket collection uh, for the Boxing Day match at Shamrock Park. So you're going to have a couple of collectors at the Dunavon side and a couple of collectors at the Portadown side. And of course, we encourage everyone to uh, dip in and drop their loose change and pound coins or a fiver if you want to into the bucket so what is your organization aspire na yeah so aspire we work in schools we work in um almost every high school in lurgan portadown and kirkgavin um, and we work in a few primary schools as well so we're working in in both towns and we work with young people from low-income families and we provide like academic mentoring so we provide um free educational support um homework clubs uh, we have a skills academy and where we learn like skateboarding, barista training and stuff like that. And we provide free tuition as well, as well as a sort of cross community camp program. So a lot of stuff um, in the schools in Lurgan, Portadown and Kirkgavon. Yeah. And there's something there about, I do a little bit of work with Portadown YMCA and I know at times when they have brought in tutors for groups of young men, especially, um, they've maybe... For example, got them a C or a B in their maths and English GCSE when they might have failed. So uh, young people just having a little bit of focus on how important that is. So what what, what is the goal of your charity? Um, yeah, to do exactly that. Um, we're not here to necessarily make sure we churn out A-star pupils, but we're trying to help people to attain the best they can and um, sort of tackle the, the problems that could be holding them back, whether that be confidence, whether that be money, because tuition is obviously very um, expensive. So our um, sort of 93% is our, our famous stat that we have of our young people have achieved five GCSEs, and 100% of our young people went on to full-time education. So some of them did a, ended up doing apprentices and becoming plumbers or whatever else, and some of them have headed off to uni. Yeah. Well, why does a charity need to be doing this, Mark? Um, so, oh, flip. There's a big question. Good question, wasn't it? Um, yeah. Uh, well, our schools, for one, um, so everything we offer is free. Obviously, we're not working with low-income young people and charging them, but our schools are crying out for the help and the support because they are underfunded and don't have the support that they need or the time or the staff at times. So um, there's just a real lack of funding for schools and for this kind of stuff. And then, uh, obviously, poverty as well. Not explain poverty too long here. Um, but it'll ruin Christmas. But um, it's a cyclical thing as well. So a lot of the, um, in the UK, if you're born in poverty, you generally die in poverty. So there's seem to be no way out. So um, that's kind of why we exist and why we have to do it. We shouldn't have to. Um, but we find ourselves in a situation where we do. Yeah, I suppose if you are if you are a young person, maybe who's grown up in a low income family, are you more likely to do less well in exams? Is that a fact? Yeah, it's uh, it's the, actually the biggest indicator. So I trained to be a teacher, and that's what I learned. The biggest indicator as to whether you will achieve or not achieve is whether your household is well off or not. So um, there's like seventeen percent this points between um, the average uh, free school meal young person and non free school meal young person. So it's the biggest difference is uh, is finals. Yeah. Um, so that's brilliant. Listen, so you're Aspire NI and you guys exist to help young people achieve their best, really, when maybe they're not expected to. And uh, obviously, I know you well and your organization is brilliant. And we just encourage Glenavon fans and Portadown fans today to dig deep. Um, are, are you reliant on this kind of fundraising, Mark? Uh, yeah, so COVID obviously has knocked us hard. We weren't able to do any in-person fundraising. 
So that massive has just dipped over two years because we haven't been able to do events. So really, I'm really glad as a Glenavon fan, as a football fan, to be able to be back in it in a crowd. But also we are reliant on stuff like this. We're reliant on individuals to give us £5 or that £10 that your granny gave you at Christmas um, to keep things ticking over. Absolutely. Um, and what, what, how can people get in contact with you if they don't know uh, where you are right now, web addresses and all that? Yeah, um, AspireNI.org, or if you search AspireNI in any of the socials. We even just got TikTok, so uh, find, find us boxed oh. in a booth over there. What's TikTok? It's where we dance away poverty. Uh, okay, very good. And you guys actually, you had a Christmas single out this year as a bit of a fundraiser. And uh, tell us about that quickly. Yeah, so we recorded a cover of A17, Stay Another Day, Christmas number one, 1984, um, just a load of volunteers. Um, and supporters of I know, I, I know this, I didn't get asked. You didn't know, I'm sorry. Next year? I do, I do have a big white parka with a massive fur hood around it as well that probably would have gone down really well in the video. Like, Well, then the man himself, Brian Harvey, the man in the big white parka with a fur hood, then he saw our video and released a video um, thanking us and encouraging people to give to Aspire. Which Very made, right enough. It's made by year. It's, all, it's on our social medias if you look it up. I'm fairly jealous of that. Listen, that song was a big teenage moment in my life. So, uh, yeah, check that out. So, listen, folks, Aspire and I, thanks, Mark, for coming on for a short chat. Thank you. Um, dig deep if you can on Boxing Day and let's fill those buckets up. Have you got an example of your bucket there? Or did you put that away? You definitely showed me that a moment ago. There yeah. it is. Like, there's plenty of room for all your change. Absolutely. And uh, charities like Aspire are reliant on people's generosity. So if you have a small amount or a bigger amount, please do that on Boxing Day and let's support these guys. Um, hoping for a good result on Boxing Day, Mark? Quietly confident. Take a three-all draw? No. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's going to be it's gonna be a three, three-one to Glenavon. Tell you on now. Very good. Do you know how long it's been since Glenavon have beaten poor down at Boxing Day at Shamrock Park? Um, probably longer than I would think. What with you doing two years in a different league? <laughs> Very good. We might cut this bit off in case people <laughs> don't want to support a charity anymore. Yeah. Uh, I, I, don't know, been, I don't know, but it's been a very long time. Yeah. Um, I don't. I'd, yeah, I'd take a draw, hoping for a win. Um, but just hoping for a good day out. I know it's going to be a sellout, and it's the day when families come out and spend time together, and uh, we're out in the fresh air, singing songs and cheering on our team. Maybe even have Gary Hamilton coming on for the last minute or two. I see he's been on the bench there in recent weeks. You never know. On the bench. Ten years ago, Gary. There you go. I know. Uh, you'd be excited if Gary came on, wouldn't you? I would make my Christmas, <laughs> but I would probably have to, hopefully somebody's got me new Christmas pants because I'd wet them. I know. That was good. So when was that 17 song out? Was that early 2000s or in the 90s? 1984. Brilliant. That's when Gary was at his prime as well as a footballer. So brilliant. Yeah. Uh, everyone, I uh, hope you've had a great Christmas. Hope you're going to have a great Christmas. We're not sure when this is going out. Dig deep on Boxing Day for Aspire NI and let's support these guys in the great work that they do. All the best. Thank you.